Are you excited? Please write these things. Never forget these things I'm going to mention. Most of the times we are waiting for a God who's actually waiting for us. Did you hear what I've said? What did I say just now? Most times we are waiting for a God who's waiting for us. While you are busy saying you are waiting for God, God says I'm waiting for you to take action. Remember these proclamations that God made at the beginning. Even in the scriptures as we go forth. You remember that I said my frustration is because is to see the church predominantly underperforming. The men of God on, on Thursday went into detail explaining to us that God can never change his original plan and intent. Number one, write it down. The holy mouth of God who is not a man that he should lie. He said to us human beings, not to Christians, human beings, he said, let them have dominion. Write it down, say, number one, God expects me to exercise dominion. If you are not writing, I'm not responsible for your struggles. God expects you day after day to exercise dominion. Are you in the house? God said you must exercise what? Dominion. What? Dominion. The, the word dominion simply means to, 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 to exercise supremacy over a situation. You understand? Supremacy over what? A situation. It also means to exercise some kind of a dominance. It means there's a situation that that's wants to frustrate you. So you decide to rise and take dominance over that situation. Dominion also means to exercise power over a situation but using force. Write it down. Exercise power using force. Say thank you, Father. The second thing that God did, because the dominion mandate is verse 26 of Genesis 1. In verse 28, God blessed us. Say I'm blessed. Do you understand? This is the original intent. Do you understand? That's, God, that's what God purpose for justice and for you. The Bible says, and God bless them. He said, be fruitful, multiply. But let's just zero in on God bless them. Lift up your eyes and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, from this day going forward, I'm aligning my whole system to the blessing order that you announce concerning my life. Say, Father, I decide now that I will be blessed in every area of my life. The blessing will manifest in every sphere of my life. Say, I Take hold of the force of blessing that was pronounced over me at the beginning in the name of Jesus. Are you taking note of that? Say I'm blessed. Let me see those who are blessed. The blessing is the opposite of the curse. Are you hearing me? So if God said have dominion, and if God said you are blessed, you need to program it in your mind. Never see yourself as a cursed person. Because as you think, so shall you be. Your thoughts are a force that can bring a lot of problems to your life. If you don't monitor what you think, the third thing that Jesus said now, this is Jesus, he gave you the authority. These are all benefits of a Christian. Dominion, 
the blessing authority. These are things that are yours. Given to you by God. Behold, I give you what? The authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. A Christian does not cry or complain about demons. You confront them. No matter your age. This authority has got no age limit. An eight year elk old girl who believes in that way can kick out demons in a home. Use the authority. When Jesus said, behold, I give you, he was saying, I will no longer do things for you. You will do it yourself. Clear for Jesus. Ask your neighbor, where is the authority? You see, the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Notice the two things, to steal. To steal. If you don't believe in those things, the devil will steal your authority. You'll move around looking for prayers. Say, Father God, I thank you for you have given the authority. Dishaila, and through Jesus, and because of Jesus, I have authority. I deal with demons. I attack the works of Satan. I destroy the works of Satan. Look, look at what, can you see after scorpions, there is, there is a comma, can you see the comma? Highlight what follows. What does it say? Let's read, one, two, three, four, read. Over what? For you to defeat a person, for you to defeat anyone, all that person needs to do is to identify himself or herself as your enemy. It's but here the enemy is the devil himself. Lift up your and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the power that you have given me over all the power of wizards, of witches, of sorcerers, and those who use juju powers. Thank you, Almighty God, that no witch, no wizard will ever defeat me. I carry too much power to scatter wizards. Say, I carry too much power to defeat devils. Rise to your feet. Say, I carry power to defeat devils. Lembro Hashana, open your mouth and pray. Uti Father, I'm rising to use the power. I'm rising to use the authority to defeat devils. Lembro Hashana Masakabaya. Lembra, use your hand like this. Say, I overturn devils. Say, I capsize them. I capsize them. You see, when a guy is capsizing, say, I capsize devils. Say, devils, I will capsize you. I will scatter you. Use your hand. I will scatter you. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hand like this, like a woman of authority. Say, I scatter. I overturn devils. I destroy devils. I destroy devils. Destroy devils. Say I destroy devils. Say I chase away devils. Lambro hashana masakabaya. Lembro kapazete masikabaya. One dominion. Two blessing. Three authority. Four. <laughs> Jesus said you must have faith in God. You must just have faith in God. The faith we are talking about here must be stubborn. It means you tell yourself like David speaks in Psalm 1829. He says, by my God, I can a wall. By my God, I can build a five-bedroom house. That's the kind of faith we are discussing here. Listen to what he says. For by you, I can run against a troop. But, and, and, and underline the last one. 
That's the kind of faith we are discussing here. When there's a project they hear is saying, by my God, I will build a big church here. It's called having faith, radical. This is the faith that made David to stand before Goliath. Goliath was two times the height of David. If David was 1.8, Goliath was 3.6. He was a high riser. But David said, you come to me with your spear, your javelin. I, I will scatter you by the name of the God whose armies you have defied. That's the kind of faith. You look at gigantic things, things that are like impossible to say, by my God, I'll get it done. Your face is not convincing me. You look confused. Why are you looking confused? Say to your neighbor, your pastor can see you. Why are you looking confused? He can see you. You, you are, you don't understand. Look at how David. By my God, I can leap over a wall. You say, by my God, I will get that job. That company will consider me. It, it is the radical stubborn faith that, that is called glorifying God. When God sees you with a stubborn faith, he smiles at you. He smiles at you. When God sees you with a stubborn faith, he says, that's my best one. <laughs> Remember, without faith you can't please him. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, I'm delivering myself from the fear, the doubt, the confusion. Hey! Pray, 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 pray. Have faith in God. We need to be radical. Hey! When the disciples were almost drowning, in that sea of Galilee, there was that big storm. Jesus pretended as though he was sleeping. <laughs> just to test him. So he was just, a, he was just faking and snoring. Uh, 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 the storm was shaking. Then they came to Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, we, we, are, praying, we are perishing. How can you sleep? Jesus woke up and said, where is your faith? He didn't say, where is your holiness? That's a different department. You defeat the devil by faith. Lift up your hands. Say, I know who I am. Are you learning something? He said, where is your faith? And they were afraid and marvel saying to one another, who can this be for? He commands even the winds and the water That's and they obey him. You remember that Joshua caused the sun to stand. Do you know that you can, you can do it too? Jesus said if you can believe. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm taking my position. I'm taking my rightful position. From today, I'm a commander of situations. I use dominion. Say, from today, I use authority. Say, from today, I will live my life in line with the original intent of God. God. In the name of Jesus, pray like you are praying. Pray for yourself. Father, from this service, I'm changing myself. I change the way I see things. I change the way I speak. Say, Father, I'm a confronter of challenges. I'm a confronter of devils and demonic powers. In the name of Jesus, say, never again will I be frustrated. The last one. Let's look at this controversial verse. I wonder how, how many preachers know it. Matthew 10, verse 8. Look at this verse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. This is Jesus commissioning ordinary human beings. They never went to any Bible seminary. No Bible college. He's giving them. Look at the powerful instruction he's giving them. He said, as you go preach saying, 
the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This was where he commissioned the 12 disciples. Ordinary. Matthew was just a money tax money counter. These were ordinary people. What it is, as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let's read the following one. Eight, one, two, three, four, read. Heal. Does it say look at the sick and be confused? It's an instruction. Do what? Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Cast out devils. Don't talk about devils. Cast out devils. Look at what follow. Underline the, the last one. Freely you have received. Freely give. Does it say you are still going to receive? If I, people pray, give me the healing ministry of vibrating. You have already been given. What are you vibrating? <laughs> you see, it says freely you have received. Freely give. You see, there's a secret. I'm giving you freely. The question is, are you freely receiving? Do you remember the ten lepers? In Luke, in Luke 17, 10, Jesus didn't even touch them. Ten lepers, you know the story, Luke, Luke 17, you know the verse. They were full of leprosy. Their, their flesh, their skin was falling apart. The ear was half ear. Nose, half nose. As they were walking, the lips are falling. They said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. He said, go and show yourself to the priest. While the flesh was falling, they started walking by faith. These people never went to church. They never went to church. Their faith was stronger than people who go to church every Sunday. The Bible says, as they were walking, they were healed. Look at that verse. Look at that verse. So when he saw them, he said to them, go show yourself to the priest. Let's look at verse 13. Look at verse 13. I know this verse by head. They lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Jesus. Remember, these guys were quarantined. They were not allowed to mingle with the public. So they were living in a camp there where they were fenced. And there was a, they were not allowed to go back to, the, to their homes. Have mercy on us. It was a terrible disease. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy on us, Jesus. Jesus said, no problem. Look at verse 14. So when he saw them, he said to them, go show yourself to the priest. And so it was. As they went, they were cleansed. They were just marching. Do you believe? Say, Father, I believe. All things are possible. Hallelujah. If you can understand what is a house of God, where there's a man of God, the moment you, the moment you enter the house without touching you, Every bondage breaks. I say every bondage breaks. I say every bondage breaks. Every bondage is destroyed. You need to believe in God. Believe in his servants. And the Bible says you shall prosper. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And there's another story, I think it's Mark, it's Matthew 9, 27. Is it 27? Two blind men, they come to Jesus. Jesus! They are, they are busy shouting, Jesus is ignoring them. Until he reaches, Jesus had a small house, so he entered, he entered the house, he locked the door. They came, Jesus! 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 <laughs> Son of David, have mercy on us. Look at, look at the question. It's different from... Look at verse 28. And when he had come into the house, the blind man came to him knocking. They repeat, do you, Jesus, they said to them, do you believe that I'm able to do this? You see, if you don't believe in the pastor... <laughs> Do you believe that I'm able to do this? We are they said to him, yes, Lord. But he goes. Look at what follows. <laughs> then he touched their eyes saying, according to your faith, let it be to you. According to your what? 
Not my power, Jesus, according to you. Lift up your hands and Are you helped tonight? Are you learning something? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm rearranging my faith. I'm assuming a new faith order. Faith in God. Stubborn faith in God. Faith in his word. Faith in his good plans for my life. Faith in the servant of God. Faith in the finished work of Calvary. Pray, 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 pray. Faith in God. Faith in his word. Faith in the finished work of Calvary. Faith in his servants. Lord, I believe all things are possible. Pray, 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 pray. Say, Lord, all things are possible. All my breakthroughs are possible. Use your hands and say, all my breakthroughs are possible. No more doubting. No more being doubtful. No more double-mindedness. I only believe. I'm a person of faith. Lord, I believe. Are you blessed tonight? Have you learned a lot? Are you sure? Tell your neighbor, be careful. God is waiting for you to take action. Do like this is God is waiting for you to take action. Say from tonight, no more underperforming. performer, man. No more underperforming. Say rise, shine. It's your time. It's your moment. Rise. Shai, Lift up your hand and begin to prophesy. I want you to prophesy. Speak the things that you are planning to do this year. The things that you want to see. Jesus said you shall have what you say. Prophesy. Let's prophesy. I want everyone to prophesy. Declare the things you want to achieve. What are you achieving this April? What are you going to do this April? Pastors, what are you achieving this April? Pastors, what are you achieving this April? Fire. What are you achieving this April? Prophesy, speak your things. Zetala Masukabaya. La Prohashena Masaka. What are you achieving, prophesy? I said, What are you achieving, prophesy? Prophesy, Mama, prophesy. Prophesy your good things, prophesy. Prophesy. Oh, Shalana Masaka. Prophesy. When I say prophesy, speak the things. Things you want to see. That's what I mean. Prophesy. Zetala masukabaya. Prophesy. Prophesy. Hey, prophesy. Zetalina masukabaya. I say prophesy. Young girl, they prophesy. Choir members prophesy. Band team prophesy. Speak your things. What business are you starting? What monies are coming? What monies are you commanding? What are you planning to do this April? Prophesy! What are you achieving this April? What are you achieving this April? What are you achieving this April? Zinalima Sukabaya. Lambra Kapazatabaya. What are you achieving this April? Prophesy, prophesy. How are you planning to increase the money that comes into your account? Prophesy. Zetalina Masukabaya. Yela Masukabaya. Alina Masukabaya. I decree and I declare. 2024 is your year of breaking through. I decree and I declare. 2024 is your year of breaking through. Doors will open for you. Oh my God, you are going to get 
wonderful emails. Oh, Shalina Masukabaya. Zenalina Masaka. Ashika Sitamaya. You are going to get wonderful phone calls. People who met her will call you. Sitalina Masukabaya. God will flood your business with new customers. Oh my God. Who am I talking to now? Zetala Masakabaya. This is your year of expanding in business. It's your year of breaking through in business. It is your year of tapping into serious money. Serious money. I hear this very strong. Saints of God who are going to break through. Servants of God who are breaking through into serious Money millions of, of dollars. Satalinda Masukabaya, millions of dollars, millions of runs, amazing opportunities, amazing promotion. At your work, they will surprise you with a promotion. La Kustabaya, Zenala Masakabaya, Yela Makayana. The church of King Jesus must shine. I say the, ch the church of King Jesus must shine. Say I'm shining. I say the church of King Jesus must shine. Say yes, Lord, I'm shining. The church of Jesus must shine. Say yes, Lord, I'm breaking through. I'm breaking through into my desired things. In the name of Jesus, clap those hands and say yes, Lord. I believe as you clap you say I believe I receive every prophetic word I expect and I prophesy that it shall be so say yes Lord I believe yes Lord I receive yes Lord I expect yes Lord I prophesy like Mary I say it shall be unto me according to every utterance of the man of God, the oracle of God. Wonders are coming my way. Clap those hands and say, Lord, I believe. Say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I receive every prophetic word that was spoken by your servant, the oracle of God. Lord, I expect and I now prophesy like Mary I say it shall be unto me according to every prophetic utterance that was spoken by the men of God wonders are coming my way thank you Jesus your miracles will pop like popcorns Yela basukabaya zina lina masukabaya manta la baba zeke babayana ushala masakabayana i want us to sing you are yahweh like the roof is is just rising like the roof is opening go for it choir i want the whole house to thunder with worship because worship concludes the matter go for it choir yeah hey Choir comes. Yes, Lord. Sing it, everyone. Father, come and do what only you can do.
worship him, worship him, worship him. Spirit of Let's pray. Adonai, Adonai, Riva shuta la masuka baba ya tama baya tala baba ye baba base ke baba base ke baba base ke baba ya pray 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 se tala baba suku ya tala baba se ke baba ya baba ya tala baba ye baba base ke sha tala baba se ke baba ya tala baba se Ela 
Help us, my Father, to perform. Help us, Almighty oh God, to allow, to align, to original intent and purpose. Help us, my God, to live lives that are glorifying you. Take charge of our lives by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of the living God, captivate us, come upon us, move us, Lord, to live our lives according to your original purpose, your original plan. Take charge, Lord. You are the builder of the church. Build us strong, Lord. Arise by your mercy, Lord. Overshadow us by your mercy, Lord. Show us your glory by your mercy. Anoint us afresh by your mercy. Rise within us, Holy Spirit, by your mercy. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon us. Oh, Lord, help us, my Father. Oh, Lord, help us, Holy Adonai. Jesus, have mercy on us, Lord. Jesus, have mercy on us, my Father. Jesus, revive us, Lord. Revive us, oh, my God. Revive us, oh, great Jehovah. La broka pasete basia makata. Break all barriers by the Holy Ghost power. Ignite us by the prayer fire, Lord. Ignite us by the prayer fire, my God. These are your people, Lord. You are the only one who's able to help us. You are the only one who's able to empower us by the Holy Ghost power, Lord. You are able to rise by us and through us. Rise within us, Holy Ghost. Ma brakaza ta kamaze abo shete le brakaz. 
Jesus, we worship you. We celebrate you, Jesus. We glorify your holy name. Thank you for making us your powerhouse, Lord. Oh, revive your people, I pray. Energize their spirits, I pray. Holy Spirit, rise within them. Holy Spirit, rise by them. Holy Spirit, supercharge them. Zina la masuka babayana. You are the builder of the church. Bring a revival upon each every and every soul. Bring a revival upon each and every soul in this house. Don't leave anyone untouched and uninfluenced by you. Influence the young people who, the school going girls and boys. Zina la masuka shata la baseke. Zanilana makusanda simanda shunali masuka baya. Zenelina masuka yende bose tele bebe bebe seke baya. Ale na masuka baya. Mata la baba ziaka shete la bakasa. Zina lina masuka baya. Zeta la mama saka baya. Zena la makuta la baba seke baya. Revive your church, Lord. Revive your people, my God. Lembro kasita la masaka baya. Energize us, Holy Spirit. Rise within every soul in this house. Build everyone strong, Holy Ghost. Scatter the enemy. Break all powers of darkness. Zina lina masuka baya. You are the builder of the church. You are the builder of your people. Zina lima sukava baya. Zena la masaka 